44 liquidation is a hard difficulty moon with a cost of 700 credits and a risk level of S++. This is a moon that is not actively accessible in the current version of the beta. However, orbiting the moon can be achieved through mods and information about the moon has been found through data mining. In this video, I will go over the limited knowledge we currently have of the new moon and potentially speculate about some of the properties of the moon and maybe even a new item. Welcome to Game Files Explained. Our first topic, everything we know about Lethal Company's Secret Moon 44 liquidation. Liquidation's current data mined info log says this, population none. Conditions, previously mined for its rich industrial resources, liquidation is now largely an ocean moon, fauna blank. The moon is a vast, ocean-dominated moon similar to the company moon 71 Gordian. It has a map size multiplier of 1.6, the same size as Artifice, a minimum scrap amount of 28, and a maximum of 44, with an indoor and outdoor power of 13. Also the same as Artifice and another new moon, Adamance. Current weather conditions available appear to be rainy, stormy, flooded, and eclipsed. Although that could be speculated to be wrong, given the fact that it might be a completely underwater moon and flooded would kind of be the default state. Liquidation is a mansion moon with only a 28% chance to be a factory, with the highest enemy spawn chance being the Nutcracker at 13.3%, making this the moon with the second highest Nutcracker spawn chance. To quickly go through the rest of the enemy spawn chances, the Bracken has an 11.6% chance, Bunker Spider with an 11% chance, the Jester has a 10.5% chance, Snare Fleas have a 10.1%, same with the thumpers. Coilheads have an 8.2% chance. Hoarding bugs have a 7% chance. Masked enemies have a 6. Ghost girls have a 5.2. Hygro deer with a 3.7. And finally, the spore lizard has a flat 3% chance. Not to mention that these are actually the only entities that will spawn on this moon, as liquidation does not seem to support outdoor enemies of any kind. Unfortunately, there really isn't more information on the moon as of yet. However, there is something I wanted to talk about regarding the game files, something which possibly alludes to the implementation of a new item for purchase most likely on the ship store. This being scuba gear, or perhaps a respirator of some kind. What makes me believe that this could be the case is the introduction of two new audio files added in version 50. These are named V50 Scuba 1 and V50 Scuba 2. These files are similar to the current breathingunderwater.ogg, which is used for when you are underwater in current versions of the game. However, these two sounds don't seem to occur anywhere as of yet and they have the very distinct sound of underwater respiration equipment. This leads me to believe that liquidation won't just be a mostly water planet with a small section of land to walk on, but a moon fully submerged in water to the point where it would be impossible to make it inside without drowning. This is where the respiratory system would come into play. You would need to purchase this potential item to even think about exploring the moon. This explains why it would be an S++ moon for the cost of Titan, an S plus moon. And this would also give us a way to deal with the flooded weather condition that, potentially until now, I don't think there is an actual way to deal with other than being forced to leave the moon early. Unfortunately, that's about all I was able to find. Hopefully, we will get more information about liquidation soon and potentially even the chance to try the moon out. Now, there was a bit of speculation on this and if you guys have any ideas or find any more information, definitely let me know in the comments below. I want to keep updated with this as I have some plans in the future for more videos. 
Also, I would like to thank Averberon once again for helping me with a lot of the search for this. We spent about 48 hours, I would say, searching into stuff about liquidation and all of the new stuff in version 50. And lastly, I would like to thank you guys just for watching the video. This was incredibly fun to make and to look into, and I will most likely be making more videos like this in the future. Sorry that this took about two months to come out. Uh, I've been very busy with stuff. Hopefully, I will be able to post a lot more regularly now, though. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.